you love to perform with, dead or alive, that you, uh, you know, that you haven't had a chance to yet? Well, of course, right. if they're dead, you wouldn't have a chance. <laughs> of course. That's from well, Kelly and White. Well, if they died recently. What was that? Not if they died recently. True. That's true. Yeah. But uh, no, it's actually funny that you say that because I, I would pick probably the 1975. And it's funny because they were here yesterday. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I would pick them uh, out of all the people alive. Dead, probably David Bowie. They're very different. Though. Yeah, definitely. Um, what, <laughs> what kind of pie did you have for Thanksgiving, Gabe? And Roanoke asked that question. Isn't there a, an American Horror Story named after that place? There is, yes, yeah. Spooky. Um, no, but I would my uh, my older sister Rebecca. She makes this pie that's like a a blend of of strawberry yogurt and uh, whipped cream. And then she f puts it in like a, a graham cracker pie crust or whatever, and she freezes it. And it's like difficult, like logistically to eat. Like fork to mouth is hard, <laughs> but it's worth it because it's it, it is insanely good. It's insanely horribly bad for you because basically you're just eating whipped cream. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it's good. So that's what I had for, for Thanksgiving. That's pretty much all I had. Well, when we were backstage in the green room, um, Dalton started talking about jellyfish oh my God. he hates jellyfish i don't hate them i don't think that they should be classified as animals because they don't do anything they float like they don't have an objective in their life they just like they're not smart enough to be considered animals i don't think i would think the venus fly traps are more animals than than jellyfish because at least Whatever. I'm, it's I'm fine. sure. I don't want to get think, into it. I think his tour manager right now is rolling her eyes again because they've been fighting about this jellyfish thing for a long time. A long time. A couple more audience questions. Sorry, Michelle. I looked at them. <laughs> I was like, Whoa. well, there's a few that I have that. Okay. That. Michelle wants to know what your favorite song was that you performed on American Idol. I really liked doing "Hopelessly Devoted." Um, it was funny because they, I like on the show, they were like always oh, having you know, really bad guitar troubles and you can't get it to work. What, what is it going to do? And that's how like they hyped it for like the next episode. Um, I didn't have that many. It was just like, I forgot to turn it up. Like it wasn't that big of a deal. Uh, but you know, it's television. Um, but no, that one was really fun and they didn't even show the whole thing. Cause it's funny if you watch it, they talk about like all the guitar issues and then like the first note, I put the guitar behind my back. Because they started it at the chorus where I, like, I stopped playing guitar. So I, f I found that funny that there was like all this drama about the guitar not working and you didn't see me play the guitar like even <laughs> one time. But uh, I like doing that one. That's one of my favorites to do. Morgan from Murphy, what made you try out for American Idol? So I was on Warp Tour uh, with my buddies uh, in a band called False Puppet, and I was their roadie. And we were on like the smallest stage, and we were like the first to play most days. And so I was like, the bottom of the barrel when it came to like you know suck on warp tour so i like was it was like i always say it was like some of the most miserable fun i've ever had and so when i got the call from my dad and he was like do you want to do american idol i was like is there going to be air conditioning and he was like yeah and i was like okay well i mean i guess i'm in and then i did it and then look where we are now <laughs> Clint from Fort Worth wants to know, what is your favorite food? If you could choose anything, since you've lived all over the place, um, but mostly Texas. So he wants to know if you prefer like Tex-Mex or sushi. Okay, my favorite food is, my favorite genre is Mexican food. Um, there's actually this place uh, in LA called Cactus Tequila. And there's, I, there's three of them that I know of because the one that I went to was called number three. And it was walking distance from my apartment in Studio City. And uh, it's phenomenal. It's like so amazing. And uh, so I, w I would always go there. And if I had a last meal, that's what I would, that's what I would pick for sure. The last meal has always got to be Mexican food. Absolutely. <laughs>